everybody, this is Jake from Longtail Pro, and today I'm going to give you some advice about how to bring some new life and hopefully some new traffic to some of your old blog posts on your Weebly website. Now, I've been a Weebly Pro customer myself uh, with some personal websites, including the one that you're looking at, ballparksavvy.com, uh, which is a site about going to baseball games that I started back in 2008. Um, just some no-nonsense guides, basically, um, to going to Major League Baseball stadiums. And so that's sort of my experience with Weebly. Well, something that they added uh, more recently, uh, since I started this site, was the ability to, to change some of your advanced settings in your blog posts. So I'm going to show you how that would work, um, especially if you've been around for a while, or even if you're newer to Weebly and you've just never noticed it, because it is very important. Um, so from my blog page, I'm in the editor here, as you can see, I'm just going to click on a past month. So February 2013, and who knows what I was writing about back then. All right. And so I'm just going to click on this blog post from back in the day, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So over on the left, I have these post options here. And so if I click on that, and then I expand the advanced settings, I've got my permalink, um, which is just the link to the site. So it's going to be like ballparksavvy.com slash whatever this is uh, in this case. So I'm going to leave that as is. I wouldn't suggest changing that um, for stuff that you've already published in the past, just because if you have any links that are pointing to that page or anything like that, those would break um, when you did that. So, but you can control the SEO post title and the post description. So when, when those aren't specified, and, and again, you used to not have access to this in Weebly blog posts. So it's pretty cool that you do now. Um, so this is definitely something you should be setting moving forward as you're adding new blog posts. Um, but this is what the search engines see and how they sort of understand what the page is about. And when you don't specify it, it kind of just gets filled in for you based on the content on the page. And so that may or may not be what you're really wanting. The reason this is important is because a lot of your content should be focused on specific keywords. And that's what we talk a lot about at Longtail Pro. And that just means, you know, you're focused on trying to rank for specific things in the search engine. And so by being able to put in your own title and your own SEO description, you can really hone in on those keywords you're trying to target with this blog post. So I can write out a really good compelling title, a really good compelling description, hit update, and it's going to save my settings there. And in time, as Google recrawls that page, it's going to see the updated title and description. And now I'm going to have an opportunity to hopefully rank a little bit better for these keywords that I'm now targeting. Um, so I would definitely suggest going back through your old blog post if you haven't done this. Update your title and description. Take the time to do that. It'll certainly be worth it. Um, if you're looking for some more SEO tips as it relates specifically to Weebly, click on the link in the corner of the video or down in the description. I've got a free PDF download that will show you a handful of other things that, that I do and that I've done on this site that have worked really, really well for me and will help you get some more traffic from Google and the different search engines. So be sure to check that out and have a great day.